Hey everyone, I'm Nate from Hugging Face, and today let's build a Gradio app for image classification using the Tim library. Okay, so to start off, we're going to create a new space called Gradio Demo, which I'll then clone locally. We'll first specify our requirements using a requirements.txt file, and here we're just going to specify Tim and Gradio. After that, we're going to create an application file called app.py, and here I'll start specifying some imports. Now, since the model we're using was trained on ImageNet, we're going to need the labels for that so that we can see the class names when the app returns its predictions. So I'll just go grab that and specify it here. Uh, now, that's a URL, so we're going to have to make a request to grab those labels uh, from the URL to get them into a string list. After that, we'll define the model and its required transform, which can be done by calling some internal Tim functions. Uh, and then we'll make sure that the PyTorch model is set to evaluation mode since we'll be making predictions. Now, Gradio apps work by defining a prediction function, so we'll do that here. I'm going to specify later that the input is a PIL image, so that's what the IMG variable is. Uh, we'll convert the image to RGB just in case it, it has a transparent layers or something, uh, apply the transform, and uh, add a batch dimension by calling unsqueeze on the zeroth dimension of the tensor. Now we can make our prediction, which we'll do by using uh, uh, a torch.nograd uh, context manager. And after that, we'll be able to get the pro probabilities by calling softmax on the output. OK, from there, we can get the top five predicted indices by calling torch.topk. And to finish off this function, we're going to need to take the indices that we got and use them to look up the actual label names using the labels variable that we created at the beginning. Now let's specify the Gradio interface itself. Uh, remember, we wanted PIL images as inputs, so we have to specify that. And then the outputs here, we can just say label, uh, because we're just going to be returning labels. Um, we could launch that to start up the app. Now, uh, we'll just take this and we're going to push it up. We're not going to run it. We're just going to push it up and see if it worked. And you can see the build logs as you go in case you need to investigate any issues that come up or anything like that. And sure enough, I had an error in my code. So I'll go back and I'll just fix that up and we'll push it up again. And there we go. Uh, we can use an image from our computer uh, to see how it worked. Here's one of me of me in my fancy hugging face suit. Uh, and look at that. It predicted suit, which uh, I wasn't really expecting, but it worked. So that's how you create a Gradio app for image classification using the Tim library. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content like this. You can also join our Discord server to connect with thousands of other people interested in machine learning. Thanks for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.